welcome to my new channel um, today we're going to be making scrunchy earrings out of shrink plastic so what I'm doing here is drawing a base that I can trace so both of my earrings can be approximately the same size going over with Posca markers I find these the best for the shrink um, plastic you just got to remember that when you do bake them um, that the colors become really vibrant um, and dense so I'm um, outlining with the black you need to make sure that the Posca marker that you first use is dry which I didn't do for the first one so um, it wasn't that easy I'm very impatient um, and the same for the second one Just putting some silver dots on the scrunchies there and now making the top part of the earring um, I'm actually thinking I might change these and uh, make them out of clay the top parts now cutting the shrink plastic is the most time-consuming and probably the hardest part you need to be really careful that you don't break the plastic and it's really easy to do so if you get any tricky corners you need to come in from the other side which I'll show you in a second so we've got all the pieces to cut out so we start one direction the band and then we're coming from the other side this will help prevent any splitting and breaking of the plastic Just go all the way around. And then we skip to the finished product. So now I'm just punching some holes in them. Oh, the fun part, in the oven. Um, I've got it here at about 180 degrees. The oven is already preheated. It doesn't take long at all, probably about a minute or less for the shrink plastic to actually shrink. I thought I was in trouble here. I thought it um, connected together, but it actually turned out okay. And we need to wait until it straightens itself back up. If you take it out early, um, you're going to have some bumps and it's not going to be a great finish. Okay, then you get something flat just to um, gently squash it down to make sure that it's flat. And there we go. Now for the other one. about done there and 
the two tops of the earrings. Like I said, I think I'm going to redo these with clay just so um, the finish is a bit rounder and neater. But, you know, for now, handmade products. It's pretty cool. And there's our finished product. So we just need to add the jump rings, which I've done. And there we go. I will add a base coat later on. Thank you.